In this video, I review the Breton A2 drawing board by The Big Orchard, who have kindly sent me this drawing board to test and review for the purpose of technical drawing. On this channel, I do technical drawing videos for architecture and engineering, and the drawing board that I was using previously was this. A basic and flimsy drawing board not fit for purpose and it's not able to stand up to the pressure and workload that I was putting on it. It's very fiddly and had no assurance of accuracy so it was unreliable which I found frustrating every time I used it. Not ideal for architectural drawing. So because of this lackluster experience I've set out to get a proper drawing board that can properly serve the purpose of a good board for architectural, engineering or even artistic drawing. I need something big, sturdy, easy to set up and easy to put away and something that has alignment aids like rulers. Just something that overall feels good to use for drawing. Matt at the Big Orchard has kindly sent me the drawing board that you see here. This is the Breton A2 drawing board. This board also comes in A1 and A3 sizes. I requested the A2 size because it fits on my desk. I've had a few months to draw with it, test it out and get a good feel for the board. I had informed the Big Orchard that I'm going to review the board honestly and they were absolutely happy and confident about it. I'll show you the drawing board and then I'll show some of the drawings that I've produced on this board. So here are my findings and experience. The Breton drawing board arrived pre-assembled in the box. The board is set on the table at an incline by tilting the handle which doubles as legs. This is the drawing board setup. It looks nice. It has a plain and simple appearance and the drawing board itself feels steady. The materials used to put this together feel good quality. It's light enough to be lifted around with one hand and seems heavy enough not to move around on the table. The sliding rule glides smoothly and you can see the pulley system working when sliding the rule up and down, which is kind of fun to watch. I want to talk about the sliding rule a bit. I like this rule for a number of reasons. First of all, the rule handle is metal and the edge of the side facing the board has a translucent plastic strip which is slightly raised from the board. This has some good advantages. The edge won't smudge your lines because it's not touching the paper. So you're only using the edge to lean your pen or pencil against while avoiding contact with the ink in your pen. Number two, this is something I really like. You can place your paper under the strip and very quickly draft out a border on your drawing sheets. This is time saving for when having to draw borders and title blocks for multiple sheets. Normally I would measure out the borders before marking them, but just see how quickly I can do it with this. I don't even need to think about it. No measuring required. And number three, I used a translucent strip to evenly separate dimension lines without having to measure. Quite handy. The board itself is solid and smooth. It feels like it's made of a good quality material. I'm using a 220 GSM cartridge paper and as you could see when I drafted my borders, the paper moved around smoothly. Using the rules edge to confidently align my paper, I fix it down with masking tape and I've found that when the sliding rule is lifted slightly, it generally won't bother the masking tape fixing. And once a drawing is done and the masking tape removed, it doesn't leave any blemish behind, so it's easy to keep clean with a simple dust wipe. Once the paper is fixed down, using the rule edge, it is fairly quick to draft out your title block. And so far, with the experience I've had, drawings have come out aligned properly, unlike with my old drawing board. I didn't feel that any of the lines were off at all when I inspected them afterwards. All of them are perfectly perpendicular and parallel. It doesn't look like they're leaning off to one side. So I'm really happy that I can have confidence in this board when it comes to the proper orientations of my lines. 
Have a look at this drawing of a dueling station plan that I had made. Do you see the dark lines? Where these dark lines are marked, I purposely pressed my pencils really hard against the paper to see if it would damage the board. I pressed with my pencil as hard as it would allow me to see if it would cause any marks on the board, which can and will most likely affect my drawing experience when I use the board next time. Once I marked the lines, I used my hands to feel for any minute difference on the board, and I can confirm that the sturdy board is perfectly fine and is going strong. I, I didn't feel any difference in the board, I, it's all smooth to my fingers. This board is not deteriorating anytime soon. It feels like the quality will last a long time. Now, there were some times where I would try to raise the sliding rule upwards and the board would move backwards by the legs at the back. I contacted the big orchard and informed them about this issue. They were very nice on the phone and they told me that the rule should be able to glide up effortlessly. I was assured that because the board was new, it needed some time to be used to set into place and that the board will be fine. I was advised that for now, while the board was new, to pull the sliding rule away from the board to help give it some of the wear that it needs so that it would function as it should. I did exactly that and found that it actually worked. Have a look yourself. I'm using one hand to move the sliding rule quickly. Right now I'm trying to make the board move on purpose. But it's sitting still, exactly as I want it to. See for yourself. So don't worry if when you're using the board for the first few times, and pushing the rule makes it move back. It just needs some time to adjust. The mechanisms will ease. I want to show you some of the drawings that I've done using this board. These are two doors that I've drafted at different scales. The board helped me to keep my lines consistent. While drawing, I didn't have to worry about my lines going off angle, and the experience of moving the sliding rule up and down and marking the lines is quite enjoyable. Here I was able to draw a nice and generally consistent hatch in the middle of this gear, using one of my 45 set squares on the board. I did the same hatch on a window section drawing. Here's a plan of a small house, ignore the dimension lines, I went a bit wild with it. I was testing to see how practical it would be to use the clear side of the sliding rule to space out the dimension lines. Without having to measure with a ruler, the lines are spaced out quite evenly. Now this drawing which I showed earlier, this drawing involved a lot of precision lines. Me and my son like to play Yu-Gi-Oh cards and so I designed a board to play the game on, and I've had the opportunity to hand draw design it on this board. I actually used this drawing to cut out the pieces and I've put it together. It's sitting over there. I just have to paint it with a design for the card positions. I had some more drawings somewhere, but I can't find them. In conclusion, the Breton drawing board is a good board. As someone who was searching for a good board to work on, I'm really happy to be working on this. I used to hate drawing borders on a new sheet because of having to measure and keep the lines lined up. This board makes it easy for me. It's easy to use and I overall enjoyed creating drawings on it. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I had set out to get a proper drawing board that can properly serve the purpose of a good board for architectural and engineering or even artistic drawing. And I needed something big sturdy, easy to set up, easy to put away, something that has alignment aids, and just something that overall feels good to use for drawing. And I believe that this board ticks all those boxes. If you're interested in getting this drawing board, you can head over to thebigorchard.com. I have a promotional code to get you a 10% discount on your order from The Big Orchard. The code is DRAWTECH10. And looking at the website currently, these boards are manufactured in the UK. And of course they're shipped in the UK. They also ship to North America and South America and throughout Europe and around the world.